इंजीनियरिंग so today we are going to start today's topic and the course outcome is to calculate the self inductance and mutual inductance for different configurations of wires and energy stored in the coil so before starting we should understand what is an inductance according to the definition an inductor also known as the electrical inductor is defined as a two terminal this is the first important thing is two terminal passive electrical element that stores electrical energy in the form of magnetic field when electric current flows through in it it is also known as the coil choker and reactor so you can see from here that the this is the circuit you can see this is the circuit and we are connecting one choke coil here and these are the these straight lines are the magnetic field the current is flowing through this so the voltage across an inductor is directly proportional to the rate of change of electric current flowing through the inductor when there is a rate of change of current there is a voltage will induced and we can write v equals to l into di dt l is the proportionality constant practically if inductor is there v is directly proportional to the rate of change of current so v equals to v equals to l di by dt so this l is known as the inductor v is the instantaneous voltage across the inductor and what is h h is nothing but the inductance uh, l is nothing but the inductance and its unit is henry and di dt is the rate of change of electric current and its am unit is ampere per second so this is the basic things of an inductor now what are the types of the inductance inductance is basically two types one is known as the self inductance one is known as the mutual inductance let's give a normal example see think about the overhead lines when current flows through the overhead lines there are some flux linkage if the flux linkage is within the um, that uh, overhead lines we can tell it as an self inductance say this is a overhead lines this is one pole and this is another pole there are minimum number of lines are three we are thinking there are minimum lines are three when current the three types of current are flowing we are thinking about the current blue so when current blue is flowing so the inductance occurred in this line is the self inductance and when the yellow current is flowing then we are getting the current the flux links uh, due to the ic current links the ib also and this is the example of the mutual inductance mutual inductance is due to the flux linkage of ib the in the second line is the mutual inductance if the flux linkage of the first line is due to ib we can tell it as a self inductance so inductance is basically two types one is self inductance one is mutual inductance so next we will discuss about the self inductance self inductance is the property of the current carrying coils 
Self inductance is the property of the current carrying coil that resists or opposes the change of current flowing through it. So what does it mean? Self inductance when there is a current carrying conductor, when there is a current carrying conductor I A and there is some flux, electrical flux will generate and the general tendency of anything is to oppose its cause according to the Lange law. So the current carrying conductor will try to oppose the change of current through it and as a result some inductance will uh, induced in here. So this occurs and when this is only one conductor there is no other uh, current carrying conductor proximity to the main conductor. So we can call it the self induct induced EMF. So the current flowing through the conductor and it will induce some EMF and this EMF is known as the self-induced EMF. The self-induced EMF present in the coil and it helps to rise the current in the when current is increasing. If DIDT is positive, then the value of the inductance will also be positive and if the current is negative or current is decreasing then the rate of change of current is decreasing and as a result what will happen the emf is also decreasing in nature next in the in essence the direction of the induced emf is always opposite to the induced voltage why we know according to the According to the Lenz law, it will always oppose its cause. So, when there is some induced EMF, when there is some induced EMF, when there is some induced EMF, it is always opposite to the applied voltage if current is increasing. And if the current is decreasing, the induced EMF is always in the same direction because the rate of change of current is negative so it will oppose its cause so source voltage is in the opposite direction as we discussed earlier the unit of inductance is henry next important thing is the self induction also known as the electromagnetic induction this is also known as the electromagnetic inductance so these are the basic things of the self inductance so we will discuss the self inductance of different types of coil first we will discuss about the solenoid what is this let us consider a solenoid with the current length l and allowing the current of i ampere so you can understand what is a solenoid. Solenoid is nothing but a ferro slab of a ferromagnetic material on which we can see some conductors are there connected on this. Let the number of turn of this conductor is given as N. N is the n is the number of turns and total length of this we are assuming is l current flowing through this is 1 i amps or we are kind of writing small i amps so this is the starting of the solenoid so when there is a flow of current what will happen some flux will generate and the general tendency of the inductance is to oppose its cause so the magnetic field density inside the solenoid is B is equal to mu not Ni where Ni what is Ni? Ni is known as the magnetomotive force or MMF or we can uh, so when current is flowing there is in some MMF and what is B or we can write it as the field intensity H we can also write it as the field intensity H and in the previous lecture we have discussed the relation B is equal to mu naught into H why because uh, this is the from Gauss law and B equals to mu naught into 
H. So what is H? H is nothing but Ni. So we can write the magnetic field density B inside a solenoid is equal to B is equal to mu not N into I. Now what will be the total flux? Total flux we can write as what is the total flux for a single turn? It is B into A. What is this? This is the B into A. And we can write is the if number of turns is N, we can write is N B A. What is this N B A? N is the total number of turns. B, if B is the flux density, A is the cross sectional area. What is A? A is nothing but the cross sectional area. A is nothing but the cross-sectional area of this slab. So, we can write instead of B, we can write it as the mu not N I. Mu not N I. So, we can write like this. What is A? A we are writing like this. So, what is this small capital N? Capital N is nothing but the So, what is capital N? Capital N is the total number of turns. Already we have mentioned also N is equal to total number of turns. We have already mentioned capital N. Small n is the number of turns per unit length. And if the N is the total number of turns, if the total length is L, so N is equal to what is N? N is equal to N into L. So, we can just substituting the value N into L. So, we got the value B. B is equal to mu not N I, mu not N I. A is the cross-sectional area, capital N is equal to N into L. So, if we multiply this, we will get mu square N I A into L, where mu not is equal to the permeability of the medium. What is mu naught? Mu naught is nothing but the permeability of the medium. What is small n? Small n is the number of turns per unit length. What is I? Current flowing through this. What is A? A is nothing but the cross-sectional area. And what is L? L is the total length of the solenoid. So, what is the self-inductance? We, according to the definition, we know that the self-inductance is equals to the, we have discussed in the previous slide also, N phi by I. What is L? L is equal to N phi by I, where phi is equal, where N is equal to total number of tons. So, what is phi? Phi means the total number of the flux. So, if we substitute the value, we will get n phi is equal to mu naught n square i a l, mu square n square i a l by i. What is i? i is the total, uh, what is this? This is the total current. So, this is the main formula mu square mu naught mu naught again n square l. We can write it as the n. So, mu square n mu naught n square it is not showing. I will write here mu naught n square a by l. So, this is the original formula of the inductance mu mu naught n square a by L. How to do this from here? N square L. We can multiply L and L here. Okay, I will show how to solve this. Okay, we got inductance is equal to mu naught N square A. Mu square N square A L by current I. Current I. So, I, I will cancel out. We can write it as the mu naught 
n square l square a by l. So, in n into l, what is n into l? Total number of tons. So, we can write it as the mu naught n a by l. So, this is the formula of the inductance. Next, we will discuss the self-inductance for toroid. What is the meaning of the toroid and what is the difference between solenoid and toroid? Solenoid is basically a straight line. It is like a slab. But if we go for the toroid, what is toroid? Toroid is basically like a like a circular disc. So, toroid is nothing but a disc of the soft magnetic material on which we are connecting the conductor oil and we are taking plus and minus on it. So, same thing the current I is flowing through it or there are the number of turns is small n. So, current flowing is I. What is the radius? Radius we have taken as R. The radius of the toroid we are taking as an R. So, what is the magnetic flux density? Mu naught N I by L. Already we have discussed these things that the flux density B is equal to mu naught into H. So, what is the what is this capital N is equal to total number of tons. What is capital N? Capital N is nothing but the N into L. So, actually B is equal to from the previous slide we know B is equal to actually mu naught N into I. Number of, uh, number of tons per unit length into current. So, we are multiplying the L divided by L. Now, N into L is equal to capital N, the total number of tons. N I by L. Next. So, we have already that N is equal to total number of tons. Next. So, what is L? As this is the circular in nature, we can tell that the L is equal to 2 pi R. This is the radius is R. This radius you can see in yellow. This is the radius. If the radius is R, we can write L is equal to 2 pi R. And if the outer radius we are taking as the capital R, we are you know, thinking as this is a, like a disc. So, there is two radius. One is the inner radius. One is the outer radius, capital R. So, what is B? B is equal to mu naught A9. What is the length? 2 pi R. What, this is the perimeter of the circle. Then what is phi? Phi is equal to N B A. Number of tons total flux density into cross sectional area. So what is uh, B? Mu naught N I by 2 pi R. And what is capital A? Capital A is the cross sectional area of this and for this for this one this blue one this is the main solenoid or the toroid what is the cross sectional area cross sectional area is pi r square capital r is the radius of the uh, outer surface so, if we put the value, we can write in mu naught n i by 2 pi r by pi r square. And after solving this, we will get the value. Just this is the normal calculation. What is phi? Phi is equal to n square mu naught i capital R square or capital R. What is capital R? Capital R is the outer radius. In the previous slide you can see this. This is the outer radius. What is smaller? Smaller is the inner radius. What is smaller? Smaller is the inner radius. So, what is L? L is equal to phi by I. L is equal to phi number of magnetic flux by I current. So, if we divide the phi by I, we will get 
a is equal to n square mu naught r square by 2 r Henry. So this is the very important proof of the self inductance for a toroid. Now we will discuss about the mutual inductance. What is mutual inductance? Mutual inductance is the main operating principle of the generators, motors, transformer. In electrical engineering, we know coil is everywhere and when current is flowing through the coil, the flux will generate. So, we can tell the mutual inductance is the main operating principle of generators, motors and transformers. Any electrical device having components that tend to interact with other magnetic field will or follows the same principle. Apart from the generator, motors and inductors like overhead coils, overhead lines, underground cable, any electrical device, if two devices are nearby, there is a general tendency of them to interact with each other. The interaction is usually brought about a mutual induction where current flowing in one coil generates a voltage in the secondary coil. In the transformer also we can get the example. When current is flowing through the coil, it will uh, there will be some flux linkage and this flux will cut the another flux nearby and it will create some EMF. So, what is mutual inductance then? The definition is when two coils are brought in proximity with each other the in the ma magnetic field in one of the coils tend to link to the other. The further leads the of generation of voltage in second coil and this property of the coil which affects the change in current and voltage in secondary coil is known as the mutual inductance. If two coils are brought in proximity means in nearer to each other, the flux of one coil will tends to cut the another one and as a result it will leads the generation of the voltage and this is known as the mutual inductance. So, already we can understand the definition. Next, so we can see from the picture if this is the coil and current is flowing through the coil. This is one coil N1 and this is the another coil whose number of turns is N2. So, what will happen when current is flowing in the this slide, sorry, this coil and this coil both will create, generate some flux. So, this flux will cut, the flux generate on this coil will cut the, uh, coil, uh, cut the coils as well as the flux generate due to the secondary coil will also cut this. So, this will create some mutual inductance. If current is flowing, N2 is N2 phi to the current due to the number second turns will in the N2 phi 2 is directly proportional to the I1. Why? When current I1 is flowing, so we can write it will cut the secondary coil and it will generate the flux. So, N2 phi 2 number of flux generated in a coil is directly proportional to I1. So, we can write N2 phi 2 is equal to M21 I1. What is M21? M21 is the mutual inductance. This proportionality constant is known as the mutual inductance. Similarly, when current is flowing I1, sorry, I2 current is flowing, what will happen? And it will also create some flux which cuts the N1. So, N1 phi 1 is directly proportional to I2. So, N1 phi 1 is equal to M1 to I2. M21 means the flux and the connection of secondary coil due to the current in the primary coil. What is the meaning of M1 to? The inductance of the primary coil due to the current of the secondary coil. So, this is the type of the nomenclature. First one is 
where the inductance occurred and second one is the due to which current. So, if we think the experiments and calculations that combined the Ampere's law or Ampere's circuital law and the uh, Biosabert's law already discussed in the previous chapters that M21 and M12 are equal in the absence of the material medium between these two coils. If the two coils are the medium between them is air or any other material except iron, we can write M12 is equal to M21. Only in the paramagnetic material, these two things are different. So, first we will discuss about the mutual inductance between straight, long and square conductors. We can see this is a square conductor whose height is B. So, we will first discuss that the magnetic flux density due to the uh, straight wire in a square loop is mu naught I by 2 pi X. The magnetic flux density B, it is discussed in the previous chapter, uh, unit 3, that uh, the magnetic flux density due to a straight wire of square loop is B is equal to mu naught I by 2 pi X. Now, the flux linkage of with the square loop current in the straight wire, in the straight wire, I it cannot see and I will draw it here. I think it is not showing. So you can see this is the current I. This is the value X. So I am I have shifted this for uh, simplicity. So what is the uh, distance? Mu not I. Mu not I. I am writing here small i. By 2 pi X. X is the distance between the current carrying coil and the square conductors. Actually, as this is the induct, as this is the mutual inductance, we need two coils. So B is equal to mu naught I by a 2 pi X. What is M? M is equal to psi by I. What is psi? Psi is nothing but the total number of electrical flux. So, we already know psi is equal, m is equal to psi by i, total flux by current. So, from the Gauss law, we know psi is equal to b dot ds. We are using here the uh, bold letter to tell these are all the things are the vector. So, psi is equal to surface integration of b dot ds. So, what is ds? For this uh, square, ds is nothing but the surface integral of the square. So, double integration. What is b? Mu naught i by 2 pi x. And what is this of the dx? dx dy. dx dy. So, what is the range of x? x is if this is the d and we are taking this distance so we can write x is equal to d to d plus a we are taking this distance and this distance is a we are assuming this distance is a so what is x x is from d to d plus a what is y y is the height 0 to b y is equal to 0 to B. So, this is a simple integration, integration of mu naught i 2 pi x, y is 0 to b, so dy means y dx. So, you can see now it clearly. So, substituting the limits of y, y value is 0 to b, so we got mu naught, mu naught i by 2 pi x into b into dx mu naught constant i constant b constant and 2 pi constant so we are taking only this outside and we will get mu naught b i by 2 pi integration of 1 by x dx 
and what is the range if it is a so we can write d to d plus a okay so what is the value the value is d to d plus a this distance is d and this is a so if we can write this so what is 1 by x 1 by x is log base e or we can write l n x so if we put the value we will get this equation mu not i b ln d by a divided by 2 pi ln d so what is the mutual conductors mutual conductors is psi by i so if we put the psi value here divided by i so i i cancel out and this is the mutual inductance mu not b ln d by a divided by 2 pi ln into d so this is the mutual inductance between two straight conductors now if we want to calculate the series connection of the inductor what will happen say there are the two inductors you can see this is one inductor and this is another inductor. This is the first inductor and this is the second inductor. They are connected in series. How we can tell? Because we can understand that same current is flowing in both inductors. So what is the inductor? The, in, the equivalent inductor is if this is L1, if this part is L2, L is equal to L1 plus L2. But as two coils are near to each other what will happen there will be some mutual inductance so in the case if the current both are in the same direction we can write the total inductance is l1 plus l2 plus 2m why 2m 1m is due to the current of first conductor into second conductor and another m is due to the current of the second conductor to the first conductor and we are assuming here m12 is equal to m21 is equal to m what will happen if the currents are in the opposite direction one current is in this direction and another current is in this direction so again both are in series but they are in the opposite current is are in the opposite direction and in that case l is equal to l1 plus l2 minus of 2m now this parallel connection of the inductor if two con inductors are in parallel like this what will happen if it is the normal inductor, if it is L1 and L2, we can write 1 by L is equal to 1 by L1 plus 1 by L2. But again, 2 are in the proximity. So, it is the general case in the in our household uh, wiring to outer, outer side overhead conductors, we can only see the parallel connection and this is the most useful connection. So, as two coils are in the proximity, so what will happen? There is some uh, mutual inductance and this dot means in the both inductors currents are in the same direction. This is the known as the dot convention. You can also get it in the any type of motor calculation. So what is the value? The value is L is equal to L1, L2 minus m squared by l1 plus l2 minus 2m so this is the if currents in the both inductors are flowing in the same direction what will happen if the currents are in the opposite direction or the inductors are connected in the opposite means both are in the opposite side in that case, L is equal to L1, L2 minus M squared by L1 plus L2 plus 2M. So, while we are calculating the series and parallel connection of the inductor having some mutual inductance in them, we have to check the direction of the current very efficiently. 
Now we are coming to the Newman formula. This is also very very important in case of the inductance. Let us consider two coils, one coil and two coil brought as near as possible that I1 and I2 current is flowing between them with the separation is R. You can see the separation of R and the cross sectional area of these two coils at S1 and S2. So the magnetic flux density of the current uh, due to the current I1 we can write V1 is equal to grad cross A1 as both are the uh, we know V1 is equal to grad cross A1. So what is A1? The A1 is known as the this A1 is known as the vector magnetic potential already discussed. So what is vector magnetic potential? We have discussed A1 is equal to grad uh, integration of mu I1 dl by 4 pi r where r is the radius of this surface. So what is the flux? We again know the flux of phi 2 1. What is the meaning of phi 2 1? The flux in the second coil due to the first coil means B1 into ds2. So similarly what is the psi 2 1? Psi 2 1 means the total flux linking the second coil. B1 integration of ds2. Where psi is, what is psi? Psi is nothing but the, psi is nothing but the total flux linkage. So, we can again write what is B1? B1 is uh, grad cross A1. So, grad cross A1 ds2. Similarly, we can use the same formula for the first one. So, what is this? We got grad cross A1 ds2. Grad cross A1 ds2. If we want to uh, remove the grad, we can use the stroke formula. So, we, it will be, it will be 1 down. So, it will be A1 dl2. We know in the Stokes formula, if we remove the grad, so the surface will change into the line integration. So what will be the value of psi 2 1? What will be the value of psi 2 1? Integration of V1 ds1 in that place we will write integration of A1 dl2. So just putting the value we will get double integration of mu i1 dl1 this is the integration of a already discussed into dl2 divided by 4 pi r so therefore the mutual inductance between the two coil is m is equal to psi 2 1 by i so mutual inductance will be double integration of mu i1 dl1 dl2 by 4i squared divided by i1. Similarly, we can, so i1 and i1 may cancel out and we can write double integration of mu of dl1 dl2 4 pi r. The same thing we can prove for the second uh, equation also. What is that? If we think the car, this is S1, so we will start with B2. So what is B2? B2 is equal to grad cross A2. What is B2? The flux density of the second coil is B2 is equal to grad cross A2. What is A2? A2 is again vector potential of the second coil. So what will be the, so what will be the value of A2? Similar to the A1, integration of mu I2 dl2 by 4 pi r. If we are imagining that both the circular path has the same radius. 
So what will be the again? What is five two one? Five. Sorry, now we will write five one two. What is the meaning of five one two? The total number of flux due to the current in the uh, first coil. So it will be B two D S one. So this is the only changing point. Now B two value we know. A value we know, D S one value we know. Now similarly, here what will be the change in the place of A one? It in the place of A one, it will be A two, and we will get psi one two. So what will be the value of M one two? M one two value also we will get double integration of mu D L two D L one by Four pi r, and now if the material is same, we can see if the mu value is same for the both case, we can see that the m one two is equal to m two one. So for a non-paramagnetic material or ferromagnetic material, m two one is equal to m one two. So this is called as the Newman's formula. This formula is known as the Newman formula. M to one is equal to double integration of mu d l one d l two by four pi r. Now we will discuss about the energy stored in an inductor. Let the work done to increase the current d i is d w. So by the law of conservation of the energy, we can get work done is equal to the energy stored. We know already we have discussed in unit two, d w equals to v i d t. So what is v? Already we have know that l is equal to or or v is equal to we can write l is equal to d i. We can write V is equal to L d i by d t. Voltage in an inductor will induce if there is a rate of change of current. So if we substitute the value of V L d i by d t, sorry, both times d t came. So L we can write L d i by d t. Into I V I D T. So we have written L I L I D I D T divided by D T. So D T D T will cancel out, and we will get D W is equal to L I D I. So what if we integrate the both side? D W is equal to integration of L I D I. So what is the value of W? W is equal to L I square by two. Now what is L? L is equal to n phi by I. So we can or what is n phi? N if n phi is equal to psi, we can write psi by I. Using the above expression, we can write what is work done? Work done is equal to psi square by two L. What is psi? Psi is nothing but the n into phi. So energy stored in inductor has two formula. One is half l i square. Another formula is equal to w equals to psi square by two l, where psi is equal to n into phi. Psi is equal to n into phi. So we got the important two formula. Now, if what will happen? We have uh, discussed about the only one, but what will happen if there are some uh, mutual inductance? In the case of mutual inductance, the total energy will be half l one i one squared plus half l two i two squared. For mutual inductance means. For one coil, for this coil, if it is L two, this is L one 
and this I1 current is flowing and here I2 current is flowing. So half L1 I1 squared plus half L2 I2 squared plus plus minus. Why it is plus minus? If both current are in the same direction, we will take it as plus. If both are in the opposite direction, we can take it as the minus. So plus minus M1 to I1 I2. So this is the important thing of the inductance. Now we will discuss one problem. A solenoid with 300 tons is, so what is the thing? The number of tons, not parameter, the total number of tons is given as 300. Is 300 mm long. So what is the value of L? 300 mm. So we have to convert it into always into the meter. So it will be 300 means 0 0.3 meter. And if the current is 500 meter, calculate, okay, and 30 millimeter in diameter. What is the meaning of diameter? Diameter is 30 mm. So what is the radius? Radius is 15 mm or we can write 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. So what will be the cross sectional area? Cross sectional area is always pi r square. Pi r square. So pi 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 square. So, calculate the inductance. Calculate inductance means L is equal to mu n squared A by L. Or we can write mu naught mu R n squared A by L. What is mu R? Mu R is given as 1. What is mu naught? 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. What is N? N is 300. What is A? Pi into 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 square. What is L? 0 0.3 M. So we can write is at mu naught 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. Mu R 1 N square 300 square. A. A is the cross sectional area. Pi into 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 square by L. What is L? L is the 300 meter 0 0.3. So after solving it, we can get the value of the inductance. Question number 2. Energy stored in the solenoid. How to calculate the energy stored in the solenoid? Already we have discussed in the previous slide that the energy stored in the solenoid is W is equal to half L1 plus L1 I1 squared. So, here as there is only one inductance, there is no mutual inductance. So, we can write energy is equal to half L I squared. L value we will get from this equation. I value is given as 500 milliampere. So, what is current? Current is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere. We can easily calculate the energy. So, this is the one important problem from this chapter. Another important problem. Two mutually coupled coils are connected in series with L1 is equal to 0 0.5 Henry, L2 is equal to 0 0.6 Henry and M, M means mutual inductance is 0 0.1 Henry. Current flowing through it is increasing at the rate of 1 ampere per second. Derive the expression for the voltage induced in the coil when they are adding, uh, series adding connection, when they are series opposite connection. So, already we have discussed in the previous slides. So, already we have discussed in the previous this slide that when the two inductors are in series, L is equal to L1 plus L2 plus 2M 
and if it is in the opposite side current l is equal to l1 plus l2 plus 2m so now we will discuss this formula in this problem so what is l1 l1 is equal to 0.5 henry l2 is equal to 0.6 henry and m is equal to 0.1 henry both are in series in the first we are doing current in the series ending connection means ending means in the same direction so what is the total inductance 0.5 plus 0.6 plus 2 into 0.1 so 0.11 plus 0.2 0.13 henry for the first case lf what is the second case second case they are in the opposite direction 0.5 plus 0.6 minus 2 into 0.1 0.1 minus 0.2 is equal to 0.9 henry now we have to calculate the voltage voltage for the first case l di dt so what is the value of L? 0.13. What is the rate of change of the current? Increase at the 1 ampere per second. So L into di dt. It is given that the increasing rate. Rate means already they have given di dt. Di dt is equal to 1 amp per second. So it is 1. So we are getting 0.13 volt. In the second case, L di dt, it is first case, second case, 0 0.9 into 1 is equal to 0 0.9 volt. So, this value we got from this chapter. So, up to this is uh, today's class, we have discussed about what is inductance, what is self-inductance, self-inductance for uh, solenoid, self-inductance for toroid. Then we have discussed about the mutual inductance. What are the series connection and parallel connection of the mutual inductance? Mutual inductance for a square loop. Then we have discussed in this session about the mutual inductance, uh, the Newman's formula, energy stored in the inductance and two problems. So this is the today's class and thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates